Hi you two and welcome to another topic lesson. So, so far in our topic lessons this week, we have made part of our 3D beach. So here's mine still. So we've got the sea that we made with our shower gel. Some of you may have got little fish and little shells in there. We've made our little beach hut and we've made our palm tree. So, so far, this is what my 3D beach looks like. But obviously, there's still lots more things that we can add to our beach to make them even better. So, I'm going to go back to the checklist that we made of everything that we might find on a beach. So, we said we'd see the sea, sand, a palm tree, lighthouse, sandcastle, beach hut, shells and a rock pool. So, so far we've made the sea, we've made a beach hut and we've made a palm tree. So today I thought we could focus on the sand, because it's very important, and a rock pool. Instead of making a rock pool with more water, because I'm sure you don't want to be using any more shower gel, I thought we could just make a rocky area in the sea. So... What you're going to need to make the sand and the rocky area is a pair of scissors, uh, the rest of the egg box that you made your palm tree from, some glue, PVA glue would work better but you can also just use a prick stick and in here I've got some sand but this is where I said you could use salt or sugar or brown sugar or flour, anything just to give it a little bit of texture. If your adult at home doesn't want you to use any of those things because they're quite hard to get hold of in the supermarket at the moment, you could just colour yours in yellow. Or you could colour it in yellow and then just put a tiny little sprinkling of sugar on just to give your 3D beach a little bit of texture. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start with is our rocky area in the sea. So I'm going to take out my beach hut and take out my palm tree. I'm going to just leave them there at the side. And I'm going to make my rocky area. So for this, you're going to need your egg box. And you're going to need to cut out those three parts here that you can see. So again, you might need an adult to help you, but now the egg box is pretty cut up. It's much easier. So you need to cut out these little bits. And then try and make them more round at the bottom. So make them rounder. So cut off this straight bit and cut off this extra bit that you can see going at the top here. So you should end up, once you've cut all those bits off, with a shape that looks like this. At this stage, because you want it to look like a rock, if you have any grey paint or grey felt tips or a writing pencil would work, you could colour your egg box in before putting it into the sea to make a rocky area. To make it look even better, I thought it would be good if we build some rocks up. So you might want three or four rocks there. So if you want to pause this video and cut yours out on your egg box and then come back to see what it should look like when you've finished. Okay, so hopefully you've been away and done that. So I cut some out earlier before I started this video, so I cut out three. Now I haven't got any felt tips here at home with me, but if you have, this is where you'll colour them in grey. But for this video I'm just going to leave mine green. If you haven't got any, leave yours green as well. Maybe you could pretend they've got some moss grown on them or something from the sea or some algae. And then you just need to build them up in the corner. I'm not sure how well this is showing up on camera, I'll try and push it a little bit further forward for you. So you just want to build them up in that corner. If you've got a fourth one, you might want to put one on top so it looks a little bit taller. Let's see if I can just quickly cut one out where you start arranging yours in your 3D beach. Okay, so you might want to put another one on top so it looks a little bit built up. You might want another one here to make it a bigger area. You put in as many rocks as you want in that corner. So that would be your rocky area finished. 
Then we can move on to the sand. Now to do the sand, remember I said you could use felt tips and just colour it yellow or a yellow coloured pencil. Or if you are allowed to use some sand if you have some or some sugar or some flour, what you will need to do is you will need to get your glue and you will need to cover this section here in glue. So start by going around the edges and then fill the gaps in. You need to cover the whole thing in glue, otherwise your sand or your sugar or your salt or your flour or whatever you're using won't stick. Okay? You then need to just take some out with your fingers and simply sprinkle it onto the area that you have put glue on. So you don't have to put too much on because it won't stick if there's no glue there. So if you keep layering it up, it won't actually stick. PVA glue would work better if you're lucky enough to have some PVA glue at home with you. So keep sprinkling or keep colouring if you're colouring. And we'll end up with a sandy area like so. So we've got our sea, we've got our rocky area, we've got our sand. I'm going to bring my palm tree back in and put my palm tree on the sand and I'm going to bring my beach hut back in and I think that is starting to look very much like a beach. So that's all we're going to be doing today for this part of the lesson. Part two of the lesson, I would like you to get your little booklets back that you made and when you open your first page you should have your picture and all of your facts about the ocean. I'd then like you to do two more pages for me. So I'd like you to turn to two new clean pages and the title of this new page I'd like you to write sand and underneath I'd like you to draw a picture of a beach and then here I'd like you to tell me what sand is actually made from. Go online and type it in to Google and you should find lots and lots of facts about the sand and write me lots of facts here about how the sand is actually on our beaches. Then here I'd like you to write rock pool and I'd like you to draw a picture of a rock pool and then again write me lots of facts about rock pools, what sort of creatures you might find in there, where you might find rock pools, what they're made from, lots and lots of facts and then please share a picture of the next part of your beach on the Google Classroom and please take a picture of your booklet so I can have a look at your facts on the Google Classroom as well. So have fun adding your two new pieces to your beach and I cannot wait to see them. Have fun!